Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tega and I'm vlogging from Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, reach that red button. Don't forget the notification bell and the like button. Okay, today I'm going straight into it. This video is all about the exodus that is happening in Nigeria and in the rest of Africa. When I say exodus, I mean people leaving Nigeria and Ghana and Kenya and going to Bodoibo. So abroad really which countries do we consider abroad the us canada the uk pretty much anywhere in europe maybe some of asia i don't know but yeah basically so we have a lot of people families actually husband wife children relocating to these places so I want to talk a little bit about that i'll tell you what i think you let me know what you think in the comment section so this is a chit chat video it's not one of you know anyway i thought about it after i watched a video from this Ghanaian lady called ghb's girl so the video was titled what's it called um okay so the video is called goodbye australia three reasons why i'm moving to ghana so this is a Ghanaian girl and lady she's trying to let us know why she's moving to ghana and in the process trying to encourage you know people africans in diaspora to try and move back home so i read the comment section and i saw a lot of a lot of comments i saw a lot of comments about people who were saying you know what good job well done you did good i'm moving back to from the us i'm going back from the uk i'm going back to nigeria i'm moving back to africa i'm moving back to ghana I'm moving you know so there are people who were like yes i want to do the same thing too so obviously a lot of people are thinking about this thing and it's, I find it so funny because so many people here in Nigeria and in Ghana can't wait to get out. So what is really the problem? Like, let us talk about it. What is really going on? Those who are outside the country, some of them want to move back. Most of the people here want to move out. What is the problem? Anyway, let's stick to GHB. Her reason, one of her reasons for wanting to move back to Ghana was Something that happened 15 years ago while her child was still very young. She was walking down the street with the child, pushing him in a stroller, and a blue, is it red or blue? A a truck, pickup truck parked by her side and screamed at her and said, Get the F out of this place and go back to where you came from. Like it was really. You know it was so much it was it must have been loud enough for her to feel threatened and for her child to start screaming that must have been a traumatic experience for her i'm going to give it to her that must have been really traumatic so yeah and then after that you know she couldn't get a job with her degree in australia because you know she was black her husband who was an accountant and certified for that matter couldn't get a job because he was black so it took them a while to find their feet she went to nursing school according to her she hated being a nurse she hated going to work every day i mean we know now nursing is like the default for africans when we go abroad everybody wants to go to nursing school but you know she hated being a nurse eventually everything was okay husband started his own firm she stopped working she was able to stay home with the kids because they were making enough money so i think everything turned out okay but she still did not want to leave there she really wanted to go back and you know explaining why she wanted to go back so so i was just thinking when i was reading the comments of all the people who felt like they are in london in america and canada and want to just come back i'm like wow what is really in this life self is it even balanced <laughs> because so many people here want to relocate. I have a very close family member who is relocating to the, no, not the US, to Canada. Her whole family, husband, wife, kids. And when I asked her why, her reason was, I am not living my best life. I think that's a valid reason. It's a very valid reason. You should be as much as you can, as much as is in your power living your best life so if you are in a circumstance that you can afford to change and you feel like being abroad is what is going to change that for you it's going to make it better by all means move abroad but this is what i've learned from living abroad for a while and living in nigeria too i have learned that happiness 
joy, peace won't come from where you live. It's it's it, that will come. It can only come from inside of you. I wish you know GH this girl all the luck in the world. Like she should come back to Africa. I mean Ghana. I've never been to Ghana, so I can't say much about Ghana. But Nigeria. Anybody that wants to relocate back to Nigeria. I wish you all the best and I hope it really it really really works out. But if you are coming back because you are not content or you are not happy in the UK or in the US and you think you will be happy in Nigeria, I don't know if that is a valid reason. I don't know if that is actually going to happen. I doubt it. Because genuine true happiness comes from inside of you. It comes from having peace having contentment with everything that you have and everything that is going on around you now if you want to know what my opinion is which is the best which one should we do should we come back from Bodo go to Nigeria or people in Nigeria should we go abroad or should we stay where we are like I said find out calm down and take stock of where you are right now and just take a deep breath and make sure that as a person you are content you are happy because abroad or Africa wherever you are that's not going to solve the problem for those who want to come back to Nigeria I'm sure they have valid reasons if I decide to leave Nigeria and go abroad I'm sure I have valid reasons I mean racism I can't even begin to say how horrible it would be to be living somewhere and be considered a second hand citizen that's horrible that is that is terrible but as much as we want to bow now sit and say oh look how horrible this is we so at home we are you know not second hand citizens not second class citizens we are we are accepted here we are like that's nice but i just think back to how many years ago three four years ago when i and my children were lying flat in my on my bedroom floor for 30 minutes because there was gunshot going to two 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 for 30 good minutes this was in for tacos but for 30 good minutes there were gunshots i did not know where the gunshot was coming from i did not know where it was going so we lay down flat on the floor for that long i mean at some point we we're like chatting so you know what's going on we were still on the floor i don't know which is more traumatic Someone is telling me go back to where you are coming from or bullets flying over your roof so every place will have its disadvantage and advantage it doesn't matter where you are there will be advantages there will be disadvantages the peace and the contentment and the joy comes from you it comes from inside it's not a geographical factor it comes from you so get your peace Usa some peace. <laughs> okay. Guard your peace, guard your joy, guard your heart, and just be content wherever you find yourself. That's my video for today. I just wanted to talk on this topic because everybody seems to be on their way out or on their way in. So I said I was going to say something about it. Thank you guys. If you're still watching the video at this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you.